Hey kids, so today we're going to be doing another episode of VM Upgrade, episode 7, Windows 2000 to Vista. So I had to get a whole new virtual machine for Vista because my original one was 4 gigabytes, wasn't enough for Vista, upgraded it to 8. So... Yeah, here it is, a fresh 2000 install. Now here's the thing, the Vista upgrade box is kind of confusing because it says for users of Windows 2000, XP, and Vista. So by that wording, you, you would think you can upgrade from Windows 2000 to Vista. No, you can't, you have to have XP in between. But you can launch the setup from Windows 2000. Service Pack 4. Yes, you can only launch it from Windows 2000 Service Pack 4. You can't launch it on any earlier version of Windows 2000 or Windows ME because Windows ME can go suck a fat one. But anyways, let's just get Vista fired up. Oh yeah, also I did have the 256 color driver in there. I upgraded it to true color. Ooh. Still not detecting it. I think we just gotta check that ISO. Come on, come on, Jack. Okay, there we go. Vista. Here it is. Install now. Also, the original one had 128, no, sorry, 168 megabytes of RAM. The minimum for Vista is 512, so I upgraded it to 728. Next, we're going to choose Ultimate. I do agree with the license terms, custom. Yes, yeah, you can't upgrade. Okay, 6.3 gigabytes of free space. I'm gonna have to upgrade it to 10. Okay, on another fresh new install. This one's 12 gigabytes, so it should be enough for Vista. As you can see, free, 9.87 gigabytes, so I think that should be enough. Hopefully that's enough. Here it is, Windows Vista, install now. Please wait. Alright, going through this thing again. Ultimate. I have selected. I agree. Custom. It is 10, 5, 7, 8 megabytes. I don't care. We can. What? More? Do you really want more space? Maybe. Okay, maybe if we install a different version of Vista. I, may, maybe. So maybe if I can install a different version of Vista. So like uh, maybe Home Basic. Okay. There we go. I just had to change the installation to the the addition to Home Basic. We'll restart. So that's it. All I had to choose is a different version. Wow. Wait, uh, okay. Uh, earlier version of Windows, that's Windows 2000, or Windows Setup. We're going to do with Windows Setup because that's Windows Vista. Ooh, look at that. Copyright Microsoft Corporation. Installing Windows. <laughs> Start now. <laughs> 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 
Type a username, for example, John. My name is not John, it is T O W F. Type a password, I'm not gonna type a password. Type a computer name, um, Windows. 2K Vista. I like the Aurora. Ask me later. We'll do that. Thank you. Start. Please wait while Windows checks your. Oh. <laughs> well, that was quick. So I don't know what the version is. Like, does it remove some features? I don't even know. Like, I, I know there was originally going to be an E version of Windows 7. Or was there an E version? I don't even know. I think there was going to... I think it was scratched, but I think there was going to be an E version of Windows 7 that excluded Internet Explorer. I don't know, just thought that was interesting. So, we're going to go to the control panel and we're going to adjust the screen resolution. 1152 by 864. Yay. But yeah, here we are. Windows Vista. So... That's it for today's video. I mean, it isn't really a VM upgrade because we're not really upgrading anything, but <laughs> it was still fun to do. Anyways, um, bye. <laughs>